weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate sea level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-Levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-277-8599. That's 916-277-8599. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. In Liberty, get a great deal on your new Silverado at the Mesa Chevy Silverado Superstore. Great selection, great factory financing and incentive, and great Mesa Chevy savings on every new 2023 Silverado in stock. Online at MesaChevy.com. I'm John Bernizzi with your top stories on KFBK News Radio. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum will participate in tonight's Republican presidential debate despite suffering an injury. Burgum posted a photo of him on crutches on social media with the caption, I'm in. Whether he would participate in the debate was thrown into question after he suffered a tear of his Achilles tendon while playing a game of pickup baseball with his staff Tuesday. A disturbing new trend in schools across California and nationwide is putting kids in danger and could prove to be deadly. A new kind of vaping device marketed to children is sitting the classroom. Not just with cartoon characters, not just with child-friendly flavors, but they're now being disguised as school supplies. That's former director of National Drug Control Policy, Jim Carroll, who says the biggest trend is disposable vapes that look like things like highlighters. Most alarming is the illegal devices are being brought into the country, sometimes along with the legal and the Russian mercenary chief who lied, or who led, that is, an aborted revolt against Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin is dead. Russia's state-controlled media says Wagner Group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin was killed in a private plane crash. Traffic and together, here's Dana Hess. Right by the Roseville Auto Mall, eastbound Cap Exposition. We had uh, somebody in the number one lane last we heard. Do see some slowing there. Uh, it's very heavy through Midtown, actually, as well on eastbound Cap. See, he found Andy Rainey Boulevard. Report of a fire out there smoldering over on the shoulder. And he found 83 Davis heavier than last time. That starts at Old Davis Road and goes well past the Olo Causeway before it finally clears up. Eastbound Cap City, slow and go, too, as I said, through Midtown. And it only comes once a year, the spectacular Labor Day sales event at the Roseville Auto Mall. You'll save on every make and model in stock, plus there's excellent financing and factory discounts available at the Roseville Auto Mall, driven to be the best. Traffic on the 10s every 10 minutes, mornings and afternoons. Then it has KFBK News Radio, 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Hot this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. I'm between 97 and 101. A clear sky for tonight. Lows be in the mid to upper 60s. And hot for tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine once again. Highs in the upper 90s to near 100. And highs way back into the lower this Friday with sunshine. KFBK, Sacramento's News Radio. 89 degrees now. John Bernardi, KFBK News Radio. Are you thinking of selling your home? Can you relate with any of these situations? Maybe your house is outdated. Maybe you need some work done. You have a rental property damaged by tenants. Maybe you've inherited property of extensive repairs which are needed. If you're moving out of the area, maybe you need a flexible timeline. Talk to Bridgehaven Homes. If you're buying a new build and you want to know that your house is already sold, talk to Bridgehaven Homes. Seniors who want a super easy done for me. Bridgehaven Homes can help with that as well. If you want to avoid uncertainty with selling the traditional way, that's Bridgehaven Homes. Aaron and Shane are the owners. They are local and became passionate about the idea of taking an older home and giving it a new life. They'll buy your home as is. All the scenarios I mentioned, they're exactly the situation where Bridgehaven Homes can help. They'll sell and give you a fair all-cash offer for your home instantly. Talk to Bridgehaven Homes. See if it works for you. Please sell a battery center. 916-545-2500. 916-545-2500. Or go to BridgehavenHomes.com. This report is sponsored by ChooseMath.org. When you're young, life is full of choices. Don't let opioids, but highly addictive and deadly fentanyl, take away your life or your choices. With 
just one wrong pill. Find medically proven treatment options at ShoesMax.org. Place up your running shoes on Saturday, August 26th for the 24th Annual Race for the Arts 5K Run Walk and Kids Fun Runs at William Land Park. Come for the run and stay for the free arts festival. RaceForTheArts.com. It's more than a run, it's an experience. Hi, I'm Marissa Falberg. And I'm Stephen Wolfenator. Come join us for our podcast, Brand New. So what's really new about Brand New? Well, Stephen and I are not only longtime C-suite executives, we're friends. Because of that, we've got a lot to say about tech, entertainment, advertising, media, and marketing, what we call team. It's real talk from the inside, personal talk, too, and it's meant for everyone rising in business or just interested in it. Just look for the Brand New Podcast wherever you listen. It's a brand new conversation you won't want to miss. Kitty O'Neill, building a better Sacramento during the KFBK Afternoon News on KFBK News Radio. Welcome back. Thanks for staying on board. John McGinnis with you, KFBK News Radio, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app and your smart speaker. Uh, so first of all, uh, in response to the prior caller's question, yes, indeed, uh, Senator Tim Scott was uh, supportive of the First Step Act. And he was particularly fond of the efforts to, uh, to try to uh, uh, re- adjust those inmates being released back to a better life through job training, education, mental health, and substance abuse treatments uh, for incarcerated individuals. Okay, all that's well and good, but this First Step Act, if you read it, it was eminently foreseeable that it would produce exactly what it has. By the way, both of the senators from South Carolina were supportive. At the time, I think there were real close to 50 uh, Republican senators in the country, and only 12 uh, spoke out against it, uh, two very vocally. In fact, uh, Senator John Kennedy from Louisiana was very, very colorful in his uh, commentary on it. He said, uh, when you see the stupidity that this, uh, this bill represents, it makes you understand why they have to have directions on a shampoo bottle, like only Senator Kennedy can say. Your thoughts. What do you want to see in the debate tonight? Uh, what do you think of the uh, the state of affairs as they exist today? Is it time for change? I think it's to, to change. Not just change for the sake of change, but a positive change that will take a hard look uh, with, with legitimate solutions in play. And by the way, any, any of us, as we endeavor to accomplish certain things, we may get a little, a few steps down the path on a journey and say, okay, this is not going to work, we need to regroup. Uh, I think some of that kind of candor uh, would actually be well received, but look at what is there, look at what is causing problems uh, society-wide today. And I'm not talking to business people up and down the spectrum, they're saying that uh, business is falling and uh, people who had enormous amounts of money from COVID dollars, frankly, that came through this administration and the last, that money's not coming back. And it's probably also an explanation uh, as it relates to the trillion dollars in personal credit card debt. Th- this, this is not the product of wise, disciplined, and strategic economic planning. And when you're the consequences of a change. Doug is patiently waiting in beautiful Auburn, California. Doug, good afternoon. Welcome to the conversation. Yeah, Thanks for having on. Yeah, John. Yes, sir. Uh, I used to listen to you all the time, but I got busy. But now I'm listening to you, and I, I love to the, the old, who is the old uh, professor you used to call you? Uh, the Professor Don Stott, a very, very good man. Yeah. Unfortunately, he yeah. passed away, but very love, good man. I love this. Yeah. yeah. I love this perspective. Right that way. On my refrigerator, when you mentioned Calvin Curley, this is what I'm going to tell you, quoted from him, there is no dignity quite so impressive and no independence quite so important that to live within your means. How, how would that sell today on this debate stage, do you suppose? <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> Newt Gingrich, New Gingrich has it dialed in. He said, no advanced society lasts more than 300 years. We rot from the inside out. Yeah, yeah I, I hope I, that... I don't know. Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen. I, I truly you know, do. Uh, and you remember Judge Bork? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. They 86 him because he has the religious overtones. Yeah, in fact, it, uh, his name became a verb. He got people getting borked after uh, that uh, rejection. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. In fact, ironically, uh, there was an effort to bork uh, Clarence Thomas uh, by none other than the senator from Delaware that is now the president of the United States. 
Yeah. And, uh, and you look at the, and at that time, there was knowledge about his plagiarism and his, his this duplicitous uh, uh, behavior across the spectrum. So, so much of it. And so, that, again, uh, for, we need people hey. to look beyond the uh, the headlines and the flash and actually look for legitimate substance. And I, I hope we get that tonight, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, but, you know, when this all started a long time ago, uh, it, it started in the 60s. Uh, our past president, uh, I can't remember his name, but he, he said, uh, when we, uh, if you're a, 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 a woman with two kids, a black woman with two kids, and you can't make it. We're going to give you. We're going to give you uh, social assistance. Yeah. Do you know who that is? I, I don't. Johnson. Yeah, I figured it's my shot. Obviously, the uh, Civil Rights Act. A whole lot of things came in on uh, Johnson's watch. Yeah. At Medicare. He provided Medicare. Uh, vastly differently. I'm hopeful that there will be an open mind to somebody who says things that perhaps people don't want to hear. Because if you're planning on going and buying filet mignon at the grocery store tonight on the Visa card because you don't have the money to pay for it, or, or uh, probably more accurately, going to a fine dining establishment to do the same thing, you don't want to be told that that's a bad idea and that it's not defensible and that it's gonna, it's, you're going to have to pay for that down the road. And that's where we are as a nation. And that and in so many other areas where we've just lost any ability to focus on legitimate concerns with a, with a very sober attitude. Uh, let's get some continue your calls here. How about uh, Marty patiently waiting in Placerville? Marty, good afternoon. Welcome to the conversation. Thank you for holding on. Yeah, uh, Mr. McGinnis, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Likewise. And first time caller. Welcome. And uh, uh, just wanted to let you know you were a great sheriff when you were in Sacramento. Well, thank you. And uh, obviously I'm up here in Placerville, but uh, I uh, wanted to say in regards to your comment in Trump, uh, increasing the debt by eight trillion. Um, was it like six trillion of that? Was it? Yeah, not quite that much. We were on a pace to, and, and again, I, I don't think that COVID expenditures were defensible either. We were on a pace to uh, to extraordinary expenditures before COVID hit. He, he, he did uh, provide tax breaks, which I think was a good thing. That stimulated the economy and reduced uh, regulations, both of which are positive. But when you continue to spend money uh, like never before, frankly, I guess that's not continuing. That's all new spending. I'm looking for the exact numbers here. Uh, Uh, and there was a program through which people could uh, uh, apply for uh, 